Hey everybody, welcome back to Sustainability Sunday. Here we are just above the top of the BMX lift. We are in the thick of our snowmaking season, but you know, it's a snowmaking operation at ski areas around the world. Uh, it really takes a pretty bad rap for its environmental footprint. It certainly is energy and electricity intensive and obviously involves a lot of water use, but we figured this would be a good opportunity to dispel some of those rumors and give you guys a little bit more insight into our snowmaking operation here at the basin. So in regards to water, um, most people think that snowmaking is this highly consumptive activity that uses tons of water and really impacts the streams and river systems where we're pulling that water from. Uh, that's really not all that true. Snowmaking, particularly in this part of the country and this part of the world, is considered to be vastly non-consumptive, meaning the water that we pull out of the creek and put through our snowmaking system and out onto the hill here, the vast majority of that water, to the tune of about 85 to 90 percent of it, will all return to the groundwater here in the same basin where we have removed that water from. We do pay very close attention to the environmental conditions in the North Fork of the Snake just downstream of us. We want to make sure that our activities pulling water from that creek do not negatively impact any of the ecosystems or any of the wildlife or plant habitats that call the Snake River home. So as part of our snowmaking development, which happened back in 2002 and 2003, uh, we actually had to do a year-by-year -year study of the snake, comparing it to our stream here compared to a, a, a control plot just behind us here in Montezuma. Um, and those studies have been ongoing in the years since. And what those studies find is that both the quality and the quantity of the water in our uh, portion of the Snake River here is sufficient enough to support very healthy water conditions that support a healthy fish and a very healthy invertebrate uh, wildlife community. The other big impact of snowmaking for sure is its electricity use. Uh, it's definitely an energy intensive operation. Here at the basin, snowmaking does account for somewhere between 15 and 20 percent of our overall electricity usage. Um, however, we're working really hard to keep those impacts down as well. But it's a highly, highly efficient system. The vast majority of our snowmaking equipment consists of airless fan guns that use far, far less electricity than your typical tower or stick gun that has uh, compressed centralized air running to it to power that machine. Our snowmaking team is constantly doing maintenance and upkeep on this system to make sure it's operating at top efficiency so we're not wasting any of that electricity that we are forced to use. And then finally, the one really cool thing about our snowmaking operation here is through a partnership that we've uh, developed with Excel Energy, we are actually sourcing 100% of our snowmaking electricity from a single large-scale solar farm out there in the eastern plains of Colorado. Uh, Excel's program called Renewable Connect allows businesses like us to get big chunks of their energy sourced from big projects like that that are on the Excel grid. And our project, Renewable Connect 1.0 as we like to call it, is powering all of our snowmaking usage as well as a little bit extra that goes to our chairlifts. So thanks for tuning in. Happy to share you guys a little bit of insight that goes on behind the scenes of our operations and we're excited to catch up with you again next week.